So Wonk for me was a solid movie and a solid prequel and I never expected it to be that. I My expectations walking into this movie was an absolute flop and weren't going to live up to any expectations of the original and the remake. However, I was pleasantly surprised. Let me know down in the comments down below if you felt like this as well because in my opinion I felt that it actually surprised me as it had all the musical elements that the 70s version was known for having but then put its own family class kids taste to the movie and delivered some sort of a masterpiece in that retrospect of a prequel as it really helped to show one got his ideas of these fabulous chocolate bars and these marvelous creation types of things that he makes and we see that that came from his mum and the love of the chocolate came from his mum as well and I think that was even more special and this movie just goes through trying to achieve your dream and that's what it is it's him building up his repertoire and building everything towards getting a shop and getting a factory that we see in obviously Willy Wonka and the chocolate factory and also in Charlie and the chocolate factory of him owning the massive chocolate factory and him being one of the best uh, makers of chocolate in the world on the problems that Willy Wonka had to go through to be to get to the levels where he wants to go and the dreams that he wants to aspire to he has to go across competitors in which are not normal competitors which are looking to rival each other they're trying to get him arrested for basically selling on their patch and having better chocolate than they do and they try killing him they try to get him arrested they try to keep him away from selling the chocolate because they know his chocolate is 10 times better and that they will lose customers and lose a lot of revenue if he starts to sell his chocolate and want to destruct him. That way we also see that Willy Wonka has to pay his accidental debt that he racks up in Mrs. Scrubbit's wash house in which was really really sort of cool to see how he was just a guy that ended up needing a place to stay and then went on to become like a chocolate factory owner. And yeah, I think it just shows what it takes to achieve your dreams as well and the problems and obstacles in his path that he had to brush aside to be able to get and achieve his dream of having a chocolate shop and a chocolate factory. Although for many of you guys that have watched the channel for a while, you will know by now that I'm not a huge fan of musicals. However, I'm just going to turn around and say this. This surprised me because I actually enjoyed it. I, it was weird, I'm not a massive fan of musicals like Frozen and the rest of all these crap m musical type of movies, however it actually worked as a musical if that makes sense. It actually worked because the story made sense, the reasons why he was very cheerful at times and sad at other times. I feel that they got the tone right and it was a good like take on of what the original one was. It was more of a musical type of vibe unlike the Tim Burton version. And I feel that they really more lean towards the original with that sort of musical element. I got a golden ticket. But I think it really stepped it up. And by having Timothy Chalamet being the main guy and being sort of like the Gene Wilder version of Willy Wonka, he just slotted right in there and looked amazing. Honestly, I think they picked the right person for that role because he filled the room full of like energy he showed his energy bursting into light. In my opinion, I think that the three villains actually pleasantly surprised me because at the start of the movie, I didn't really expect them to be the major villains. Having the likes of Slugworth, uh, Finkel Gruber and, and Proud Nose being the main three villains, I feel that they were great because they were like these chocolate business millionaires that are reaping the benefits of the public buying their chocolate because their chocolate is the only chocolate in existence out there and they water it down they don't make it quality they give you a little bit because they're saving all this quality chocolate up to pay people uh, like they do with the chief of officer of police and that was really such a great plot angle of them not using money to pay people off and bribe people to like keep your mouth shut with being a bit dodgy being very corrupt on the ending i felt it was always going to go down this way we knew what was going to happen He's going to have to get his chocolate factory and his shop to be able to give it away in the Willy Wonka's chocolate factory in the next film if this is connected to the 70s version he's still going to have to give away his chocolate factory. How can he give away his chocolate factory if he does not own it? It's all there black and white clear as crystal. 
So the, the thing is, we knew it was going to be a success in this movie. The way that they got to the ending, we sort of knew that the three villains were going to get captured because they tried to kill Willy Wonka and that they bribed people with chocolate. And basically, yeah, <laughs> had a load of secrets to be kept and were very corrupt. And we knew they were going to go down eventually and same with the chief of police for taking briberies of chocolate. Before we get onto the rest of the video, I just want to tell you guys, thank you for the support because I've absolutely enjoyed making these videos for you guys. If you want to see more of it, all you have to do is press that subscribe button as it would really help the channel grow, the community grow, and you can join the community by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that notification bell, and let's get back to the video. To summarize Wonka then in a nutshell, I do believe that this, in my opinion, was a 7.2 out of 10 in a world-class film. It just had enough there just to be in relevancy of a good and quality movie although what i would say is in my personal opinion you guys at home may disagree if, if so let me know down in the comments down below which is do you think it's better than the original do you think it's better than the remake is it on their level in my opinion they are not on the level of any of those two but they're just slightly behind and the expectations were never going to be met in that way, shape or form. Hence why I've rated it at 7.2. But let me know down in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it terrible? Is it amazing? Let us know down in those comments down below, please. Also, we have noticed not enough people who smash that subscribe button. Yes, you guys at home can do us a massive favour. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.